Welcome to our lecture online. We've done this problem twice already, once using the graphical method and the other time using the calculus method. Now we're going to use the equation of kinematics. What is the problem? The problem reads as follows. An object is dropped from a height h. What is h if the object drops two-thirds the height h during the final one second of its fall? So here we have a picture. We drop an object from an unknown height h. It drops down. We do not know how long it takes to reach the bottom. We don't know how fast it's traveling to reach the bottom, but we do know that two-thirds of the total distance is traveled in the last one second of its path. So how do we figure this out? Well, first of all, we realize that it drops this distance, and that would be one-third h, which is one-third the total distance. And the amount of time that it takes to drop down there well, let's say that it takes t amount of time, and then from there to there, it takes one second. We're going to use that equation in the following equation kinematics. y equals y sub naught plus v sub naught in the y direction times time plus one half g t squared. Now, to make things easy, we're going to consider positive downward, so g is a positive 9.8 meters per second. We start at zero velocity, a zero distance, and we're dropping down. All right, well, if that's the case, then here we can say that y initial is equal to zero, and v initial is equal to zero. So that makes it a, little, a lot easier. So we're, again, we're starting from this point position at t equals zero and going downward in the positive direction. All right, that means for the first part right here, so for, and let's call this y1. Let's call this distance here, let's call it y1. So for y1, we can say that y1 is equal to, this is zero, plus this is zero, plus one half g, which is 4.9, and the time that it takes to travel that distance is going to be equal to t, so it's going to be t squared. So in other words, y1 equals 4.9 t squared. Of course, we don't know what that time is, but it is 4.9 t squared. Then we're going to figure this out for the total distance. So 4h, we can say that y1, so in this case, uh, no, not y1, instead of y we go h the total distance travel equals zero plus zero plus one half g so one half well i can simply write 4.9 4.9 but now the time is going to be the total time and the total time is going to be t plus one second so this is going to be t plus one quantity squared all right working that out we get h is equal to 4.9 times t squared plus 2t plus 1. So that's the total distance traveled. That's the distance to the point where we reach the last second. Now we know that y1 is one third of this, or this is three times this. We know that h equals three times y1. And h is equal to this, and y1 is equal to this. So we can say that 4.9 times t squared plus 2t plus 1 is equal to 3 times this, 3 times 4.9t squared. Now right away we can see with this equation that 4.9 cancels out on both sides. And now we have a quadratic equation in t that we can solve for time. Once we know the total time, which is t plus 1 second, we can then find the total distance. All right, let's try that. So first, we're going to work this out. We have t squared plus 2t plus 1 equals 3t squared. Moving everything over to one side, we have 0 equals 3t squared minus t squared, which is 2t squared minus 2t and then minus 1 by moving these two to the right side. And now here's our quadratic equation. We could solve that using the quadratic formula. So we can come up here. And we can say that t is equal to negative b, which is 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 2 squared, minus 4ac, but c is equal to negative 1, that makes that a plus, 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 1. 
and the whole thing divided by 2a, which would be 4. So t is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 8, which is 12, divided by 4. So t is equal to 2 plus or minus 4 times 3, that would be 2 times the square root of 3 over 4, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. So t is equal to, now notice that the negative doesn't count because the square root of 3 is bigger than 1, we get a negative number, we can't have negative time. So we have 3, take the square root, uh, plus 1, divided by 2 equals 1.366 seconds, and that should now become a familiar number. 1.366 seconds, if you looked at the other two videos. So that's the time to reach the position where it will take one second to travel the rest of the distance. So the total time, t total, is equal to t plus 1, which is equal to 1.366 seconds plus 1 second. So t total is equal to 2.366 seconds. That's a 6, by the way. Okay, there we go. Now that we have the total time, we can find the total distance. Because after all, we can say that h is equal to y sub naught plus v sub naught in the y direction times time plus one half g t total squared. And now we know what the total time is. And these two go to zero, so h is equal to zero plus zero plus 4.9 again, positive in the down direction, and the total time is 2.366 quantity squared. And let's see what that total distance is. So we add 1, square that, times 4.9, and we get 27.43 meters. So h equals 27.43 meters. And now we again have found the total distance based on the amount of information given that we drop two-thirds of total distance in the last one second. We use the equation kinematics to find distance 1 to get to this point, the total distance all in terms of t, and then we realize that the total distance h is 3 times y1. Then we end up in an equation with only the variable t. We can solve for that equation, find the total time, and use the equation kinematics to find the total height. And that is how it's done using the equation kinematics and algebra. So which method do you like best? One or two or three? Three. <laughs> Method number three. That's how it's done. And you like one. I like one. I like the graphical method. It's kind of neat. This is straightforward. It is, but the graphical method gives you more of a visualization of what's happening. No? Okay. Method three, yes.